Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to a Leon and Terry dream vacation. Thank you for your continued support. And I wanted to dive into this because I wanted to get on here and clarify something here. You know, because we do chuckle. All right. Yes, yeah, we do chuckle at the childish behaviors. How can you not? All right. But here's the thing. The narcissistic abusers, they will take that personally. We're not laughing at the human. We're laughing at the childish behaviors. That's what we're laughing at. All right, you all. So I wanted to get clear. So, you know, because we're not to, you know, we're not laughing at them. They think we are. Remember, they think everything's about them. And so that's why they'll, they will take that personally. Okay, if we're up here describing one of their childish behaviors and we are chuckling about it because... After all, it's like, really? You know, and I know in several podcast episodes, <laughs> we were chuckling, but not in the comedy comedy type way. It's just it's just a way of, you know what? It, it really is like, oh, man, wow. You know, because it's utter stupidity, okay? It really, truly is. A lot of what these narcissistic abusers do is utter stupidity and behaving as a, a, a three-year-old. Who happen to be, let's say, you know, 50 or 60. And they're behaving like a three-year-old, especially out in public. Really? Come on. Now, that, now what, that could be, oh, that's pretty obvious. And so we know what they're trying to do. Trying to make a scene. Uh-huh, absolutely. Because they want attention. They're not, they're not getting their attention fixed. They're not getting any supply. So they'll do that in public. Absolutely. And when they do that in public, that lets you know... I think one, ah, they, I know they were at least in their 70s when they did this in the grocery store. I tell you, myself and the cashier, she, uh, we had built kind of a report. She knows about narcissism. Mm -hmm. She's also a fellow chosen believer, okay? Yeah, she's another one of us. And so her and I, you know, we, we hit it off. And so she knows. And so when that, yeah, you 70 know, some year old did that, you know, throwing stuff on the conveyor belt, just trying to, yeah, she's trying to make a scene. The only thing the cashier and I could do was just look at each other. And I was like, no, don't say anything. Don't react to that. Because that right there was a classic, a, a classic narcissistic temper tantrum. Yes, by someone who should know better. You know, just, just throw, I mean, seriously, throwing things on the conveyor belt. Trying to get all in my space. You know, and, and because she's not getting any attention. And so we didn't give... Oh, nope, we are not. No, 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 no. I was like, not even going to acknowledge it. Like, I mean, we obviously saw what it, you know, what it was. Saw right through what it was. And that was a, that was a temper tantrum. Right there in public. I was like, okay, see? That's narcissism in action right there for you. And, you know, it does shock when we see that. You know, others who are unaware of what it is, it definitely just kind of makes them stand still because they're like, did I just see that? You know, and, and listen, that's a normal reaction for those who don't know about narcissism and the uh, spiritual truth, stuff like that. Uh, those who are not educated or know about it yet, like us, you know, let's face it, it went, we've seen that kind of behavior before. We didn't know what it was at the time. It, too, kind of made us freeze, like, what in the world was that? You know, that is a normal response. Okay, for when you don't know, but once you know what it is, all I could do when I got back in the car and get my, <laughs> my groceries, I was like, goodness gracious, I said, ah, how, oh my goodness, you know, I couldn't help but laugh, well, of course, say a prayer, but I could not help but chuckle, because that, there was no reason for that. You know, really, there wasn't. And I was like, all right, then, there you go. But that's what that's what we mean by when we are describing these behaviors like that. Oh, and that's why many of us, <laughs> okay, fellow chosen ones, if we're sending a text back and forth, a lot of times we learn not to have anything, not have anything to drink or food in our mouth, okay? Because <laughs> we got that alchemist humor going on. <laughs> yeah, we've learned. Yeah, fellow warrior, you know, my bad. Got coke up the nose. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it's just a thing. We, it, it's, it, you got to have some laughter in it because laughter is high vibing. But it's just a simple fact that their toddler behavior, watching a toddler behavior in an adult who should know better, it's like, seriously, 
okay. You know, I mean, we're like, well, then that, that that's what they are. And, you know, that lets you know who they are, though, too. Right there. You know, they're telling you who they really are. I'm going to give y'all another example. Man, oh, man, drop this in the comments below. For those of y'all who have witnessed this in the workforce, oh, yeah, especially in customer service. Okay, yeah. Because, mm-hmm, yeah. All right, there was a... Oh, there, there was a customer that came in following one of the drivers. Mm-hmm. Delivery driver. And I remember her coming in just screaming at the top of her head. I mean, or, or, let's say at the top of her lung. I mean, like literally, you know, a lot of screaming and cursing and yelling and accusing that driver of pulling out and cut, uh, in front of her and cutting her off. And now he told me that that's what was happening, you know, because I was coming, I was coming out as he was coming in, and so okay, but I had another thing to get, so I had had to put that in my car and then go back in and get another one to go with. And I witnessed it for a second. I I already believed him. I knew him. He he was a gentle soul. He had no reason to lie. I known him long enough, had worked with him long enough to know that he would not he would not do that. Definitely not on purpose. Okay, but the lady was all irate, yelling and stuff, and I was like, whoop, there's another narc, because that was them showing their true colors. So what it is, is that they were having a bad day, and so they want to try to take it out on some uh, some unsuspecting. That That's how these narcs operate out here in the world, you all. I am bringing you real wolf stuff. This is how the narcs operate. And this is why I say, eventually, you know, a lot of people talk about how they don't abuse in public, they do, and, and what they do behind closed doors. Yes, that's true for some, you know, for a lot of, you know, uh, intimate, you know, relationships and things like that. That's true. But we do start to see that they actually do dish out that abuse in public. And we just didn't realize at the time that that's what we were dealing with. But see, once we become aware and educated and we spot incidences like this, where that lady screaming, you know, accusing the driver of doing something he did not do... And was just going on and on and on. It was really a bunch of word salad. But, I mean, it, other customers were sitting there waiting to place their order. And they were, like, in, you know, frozen. Natural response. They didn't know what they didn't know what was going on. Uh, and then, of course, the general manager and stuff like that, you know, handled it as calmly and rationally. You know, as she, as she did. Uh, she handled it. And then I remember telling her after that, that lady stormed on out, you know, uh, I just remember telling her, I said... That right there, that's who that person really is. And, of course, I got no response. But I know that sunk in for somebody. It's like that right there is who that person truly is. Yep, it does not matter. Because once we see those true colors, then we're like, okay, we know what we're dealing with. That's a narc. Okay? Because there's, there is absolutely no reason. To behave like that, right? So, there you go. But it's because I could tell that person was just having a bad day and needed to take it out on someone else. That's what the narcissistic abusers do. When they're having a bad day or whatever, and they lash out like that at strangers for no reason, you know, that's them. That's them telling you who they are, no matter what. And that's, they're dishing out that abuse in public. Okay? And so, once that, once we see that... We know what we're dealing with. And bottom line, okay, now it was not funny. That particular one was not funny. Okay, so those, it really all depends on the type of behavior they ex uh, exhibit. Okay, all right, so, you know, and I want to, for example, another one that they'll do is they will hide something of their targets while helping their target look for it. While that's not funny at the time, we chuckle at it later. Once we realized that was one of their mind games they like to play. Okay, we're chuckling at the fact that they didn't even do that. Right? Because it's so childish. Okay? It is very... It, yeah, it's beyond anything that, you know, chosen chosen survivors, beyond anything that we would ever think up. I mean, really? It, like, no. Okay? Because that's just how, part of how they play games. So, it just all really depends on the type of behavior. As to what will fight, like, you know, the first example I gave you, couldn't help but chuckle at that. Because you could see it was obvious what she would do. She wasn't yelling or anything like that. Just 
their body language and things like that, you could tell she was highly irritated. But then the second example I gave you, that was that's not something that we'll laugh about because that's real. I mean, it happened. And so now, going forward, when we see that kind of behavior out in public, it lets us know that person is a narc. And that is who they really are. And we do not paint a pretty picture with it. Don't let, we do not let them, if we ever run into them again, and they're all of a sudden cheery and all nice and, and kind and everything, we're not going to forget. Okay, we're not going to forget that they already showed us who they were. And so we're not going to be deceived. So if we're paying attention now. All right, so that's all part of it. So because eventually that that narc is gonna calm down and go back to their, you know, other persona. Okay, eventually. All right, but we've already seen their true colors, and so that's it. All right, you all. So I just need to get on here and just you know, share some stuff with you all, a real world. Okay, what what we're seeing with these narcissistic abusers and the narcissism out here in the world. And then also, you know, what the laughter and the chuckling is about. It's just at the behaviors, not at the narc. Although the narc would think we're laughing at them, but we're not. We're laughing at the childish uh, behaviors that they're exhibiting. That when they should, they're, they're old enough to know better. Okay? And they do know better, but they choose to continue engaging in it. And the reason why, number one, is because, they, because it gets them what, they're, what they want. And so they're going to keep doing it, after all, all right, until they stop getting what they want. We pray for them, you know, but when, but we also know when they don't get what they want, they throw a temper tantrum. So there you go, all right? And they intimidate people and manipulate them into giving them what they want. Yep, that's what it's all about in the game of narcissism for the kid adults, toddlers, and adult body. All right, as always, if y'all have any questions, you know where to reach me for additional insight, information, and other good stuff. Check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.